Alright, what's good YouTube? Um, back with another PSP tutorial, one that's been requested quite a few times. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install um, an MP3 player that will let you play MP3s at the XMB, in game, in PSX, uh, PlayStation 1, Classics. All the time. You can play your own music so you don't have to listen to the music that is included with many games. So the first thing you want to do is download the file that's in the description. And once you do that, open it up on your computer and connect your PSP via USB mode. Now you want to open up your PSP in one window and the file that's in the description in another window and on your PSP open up the SE plugins folder if you don't have a folder called SE plugins create one now and open it up now the file that's in the description you want to select both of these files right click and copy them and then right click inside your PSP inside your SE plugins folder I'm sorry and paste them. Uh, I already put them in there so I'll copy and replace. Alright so now you should see mp3 play and mp3 playlight.prx <coughs> now you have to determine where you want to be able to play uh, mp3s for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do it in all three possible modes so first we'll do it in game so you want to find your game text file, text file called game. If you don't have a text file called game, create one now and open it up. Now when you open it up, yours, if you have already had your PSP hacked for some time, will look a little bit like mine. If it's empty, just this is all you need to add. You need to type ms0 colon slash se plugins slash mp3 Play underscore light dot p r x and then a space and then a one. Now, for argument's sake, I'm just going to copy that line, Control C, so that I can add it to the other places where it needs to go. So then you want to close this game text file. Make sure you save the changes. And then to add it to the XMB, you want to open up VSH. If you don't already have a text file named VSH, go ahead and create one now and then open it up. And now on the last line, you want to add that same thing. MSO colon slash SE plugin slash MP3 play underscore light dot PRX. And then a space and then one. And then close that and make sure you save it. And then to enable it in PS1 Classics, you want to find your POPs file. If you don't have a POPs file, text file, create one now and open it up. Okay, I only have one thing in mind, yep. And then you want to add that same line. Make sure you don't add that, that line in between. They need to go on separate individual lines, one after another. Same line, ms0 colon slash se plugin slash mp3 play underscore light dot prx a space and then one and then you can close that save the changes now another thing you can do with this is you can set the buttons that like skip to the next song pause play all that so I'll show you how to do that just so that you can uh, customize it a little bit you open up the mp3 play dot ini and scroll down to the bottom and it says play and pause key mp3 directory path next previous up key um, it shows you the, the buttons that you can use right up here those are all the buttons that you can use so like uh, right now it has play and pause key equals L trigger plus R trigger plus square I just want mine to be R plus triangle so I'm gonna take out the L trigger and I'm gonna change square to triangle 
so that will be the play and pause. And then I'm just going to remove the L trigger from all the other ones because I just want it to be the R trigger. So I'm just going to take out the L trigger. And then that will uh, that will be the keys that you put that you push in game and at the XMB and stuff to um, do the various operations, play and pause, MP3s, go up and down through the menu, stuff like that. So once you make whatever changes you'd like to make to that, you can go ahead and close it. Make sure you save your changes, and that's that. Go back to your PSP. <coughs> Now, exit USB mode, and um, I can't remember if I if I enabled this or not. So I'm going to go into uh, my recovery menu, and then plug in just to be sure that it's turned on. MP3 play light, yeah, it's on. So now to make the PRX turn on you have to go to reset VSH and press X on reset VSH to restart your PSP with the MP3 player turned on now you see I turned mine to uh, R and triangle so once at the XMB hold down the R trigger plus triangle and you see it starts playing the mp3 and then you can skip through r and left and r and right will scroll through the mp3s that you have on the psp and that's essentially it and uh i'll show you for the sake of argument that this works in game as well let me start up my angry birds And once the game loads up, R trigger plus triangle. Oh, uh, by the way, might as well show you this, guys. While well, I have this uh, open here, I just yesterday finally beat Angry Birds. Three stars in every single level without a single hack. Every single level in the whole game. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But I guess that doesn't really matter. But let's see. Now I'm in a game. R and triangle. And you can hear the MP3. You can see the little menu comes up down here. I wish this camera would focus. That would help. But you get the point. And then R and left and right. We'll change tracks, R and triangle to stop the MP3. And see it says it's paused. And start it back up. But that's about it. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Visit sneakycodes.tk, sneaky-codes.tk for all your hacks, homebrew, firmware updates, all that good stuff. And uh, sneaky-media.com, MP3s, movies, um, ISOs. Music, TV shows, everything you could ever want. Whole PSP friendly section. The whole site's PSP friendly. There's a giant section of ISOs you can download right from your PSP. It's pretty badass. So make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you sign up. And that's it for today. And uh, by the way, say goodbye to uh, the Silver PSP 3003G module. My baby is leaving me. I've sold it. But uh, hopefully I'll be getting a PSP Go within the next week. So. She's been good to me. She's been in a lot of videos over the past year and a half, so uh, we're surely going to miss the Silver PSP 3000. Maybe give her a shout out in the comments. She's been good to us. So, 
uh, that's about it. I've managed to make 72 or 73 PSP tutorials without ever breaking my 3000, so I'm pretty proud of that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Sneaky-media.com, sneaky-codes.tk. Sworn Leader, signing out.